friends in this video we will study about the two ICs 8253 and 8254 which are known as the programmable interval timer and then we will study the similarities and differences between the two ICs so let's start with our topic <music> The programmable interval timer, it is being provided by the two ICs 8253 and 8254. This programmable interval timer, it is used by the microprocessors while it is performing the timing and the counting operations. So we can say that the use of this uh, programmable interval timer with the microprocessor is in the case when it is performing the timing and counting operations. So as the name suggests programmable interval timer, it means that at an interval of some time, it is providing some time delay and uh, this IC, it is programmable IC, we can set its modes through some software, okay. Now, this 8253 and 8254, what they do, they count a delay, okay, they are the counters or we have said that they are the timers in which we load a count and then these timers they start decrementing those count until its value reaches zero and that count means the decrementing of the count it is provided for some time okay that means that these 8253 and 8254 ICs they are providing some time delay to the microprocessor now what's the need of this the need of 8253 and 8254 the external timers is that when the microprocessor suppose it is performing a end task and in between these end tasks it wants some time delay of fixed suppose t seconds now every time if the microprocessor wants this time delay uh, through software we can provide the time delay like we can write a subroutine and uh, after completion of one task the microprocessor it's going to execute that uh, subroutine of some time delay and then it will come again and then execute the second task now every time the microprocessor has to uh, call that subroutine and execute the instruction load the count all so uh, in this way the microprocessor is busy in performing those tasks it cannot perform any other task in between now the solution of this is that we can use the external timers 8253 and 8254 and these external timers they provide some time delay to the microprocessor. The microprocessor need not to do any work in it. The timer will provide the time delay and in between that the microprocessor can perform any other task which it want to do. Okay. So the 8253 and 8254 we can say that they count out the delay. So 8253 and 8254 they are counting out the delay and they interrupt the central processing unit when it has completed its task. Means whenever the count has been completed it has been decremented until zero then the micro uh, then this 8253 and 8254 they are going to generate a pulse and that pulse it is going to interrupt the microprocessor or the central processing unit of microprocessor. So they can be used to provide the time delay and also they can be used to interrupt the uh, central processing unit or the microprocessors. Now 
what uh, is this uh, use of this 8253 it is uh, doing when we are using the timers the software overhead for the microprocessor it is minimum because uh, when it is having to uh, call the subroutine when it is calling the subroutine then uh, that subroutine will contain uh, loading the register with the count then decrementing the register many instructions are involved in that subroutine to provide the time delay now when we are using this timer that software instruction the execution of those instructions will be minimized so here we can say that the advantage of this is that software overhead is minimum another advantage is that if we want multiple delay So if there are multiple delays in the microprocessor, then those multiple delays can be easily maintained by the timers by assigning the priority levels to each of the delays. So these are the two advantages of this 8253 and 8254 IC that the software overhead is minimized and also multiple delays can be easily maintained by the assignment of priority levels. Now comes the features of these 8253 and 8254 IC. We can say that these features are also the similarities or, uh, of the 8253 and 8254. Both these ICs, they provide the time delays and uh, both of these ICs, they contain 16-bit counters. There are three independent 16-bit counters in both of these ICs. Also, these IC they can handle an input which is from between uh, DC input to the 10 megahertz frequency input it can handle. Now, the, we have the three independent 16-bit counters. So, these counters, they are initialized by either a BCD count or a, uh, a binary count, okay? Counters. Now, when this 16-bit uh, counter, it is loaded with the count, means a 16-bit count is loaded in this counters uh, and command it, uh, is given to it, it start uh, decrementing the counters because these counters, they are the down counters. Means they will decrement the count value until it reaches to zero. So this 16-bit count, it is loaded in the register and on command, it begins to decrement until its value reaches 0. Now, when it has reached to its final value, it will generate a pulse and that pulse is used to interrupt the central processing unit or microprocessor. So these are the features of the two ICs 8253 and 8254 or also we can say that these are the similarities between them because both the ICs they are uh, same in their functioning both can have uh, both are having three independent 16 bit down counters and these 16 bit down counters they can operate in six modes. So the modes are also same for the two ICs and uh, the count uh, which is loaded into these counters 
numbers it can either be a binary count or a bcd count the functioning of these counters is also same and uh, we can say that uh, the 8254 it is a superset of 8253 or a higher version of 8253 now comes that what is the difference between 8253 and 8254 The first difference between the two ICs is their operating frequency. The operating frequency of 8253 it is from 0 to 2.6 megahertz while the operating frequency of 8254 is from 0 to 10 megahertz. So we can say that the 8254 it can work for a higher range of frequencies while 8253 it has a limited range of frequency between the 0 to 2.6 megahertz it can only work while 8254 can work up till 10 megahertz frequency. Now second difference is in the manufacturing of 8253 and 8254. 8253 IC it is manufactured using NMOS technology. Means it uses N type of metal oxide semiconductor technology, whereas the 8254 it uses a higher version of the N type of MOSFET technology. So here we can write that it uses HMOS technology. So it is the uh, manufacturing difference between the 8253 and 8254 that they are using different types of technology for the manufacturing of these ICs. Now third difference is that the 8253 it does not uses uh, it does not have the read back command facility. Now what is this readback command? Through this readback command the uh, central processing unit or the microprocessor it can read at any time the current value of the count and whatever is the current mode of the timers and uh, the mode which is currently doing and the current status of the registers that can be read by the uh, central processing unit or the microprocessor in the 8254 ICs whereas such type of uh, facility it is not available in 8253 the microprocessor cannot read the current value of the count and uh, what is the mode in which the timers is working it is not known in 8253 so 8254 it has the facility of the readback command through which it can read the status of the registers and the current value of the count and the programming mode also. Now the last difference is that in 8253 the read and the write of the counters it is not interleaved. Interleaved means that you cannot read and write the counters at the same time. Okay.
so this four difference means that at the same time you cannot read and write the same counters because they are having the three 16 bit counters timer 0 timer 1 and timer 2 so uh, the, uh, suppose we want to read and write the timer 0 it cannot be done in 8253 whereas it can be done in 8254 I see. So these are the four differences between the 8253 and the 8254 IC. So in this video we studied about the programmable interval timer ICs 8253 and 8254. 8254 is a higher version of 8253. They have um, all the similarities just only four differences are there between the two ICs. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.